I, you know, understand. So uh, we are struggling on it. And another one is like uh, we have too much addiction of our like <clears throat> you can say uh, uh, to uh, using internet uh, like Facebook, Twitter, and some other things. So we are not taking care of my parents. We are not taking care of our uh, great grandmothers, but we are very much busy with this internet issue, talking to other uh, friends who is living in other part of the change issue you're totally right there's a lot of industrial pollution because of um industrial countries and especially countries like bangladesh and asia as well those countries are heavily affected by climate change because there's so much pollution as a result of industrial labor and industry so that's a really great point and then you kind of brought up some other issues like um, the internet and as well as that drug addiction and internet addiction and things like that and and those are all really great points and really great um, kind of discussion points to bring up so again if anybody else is kind of stuck with their answer there are answers such as like drug addiction or the lack of internet access in different places. So if you guys want, you can always use those. And as a general rule of thumb, if you guys are kind of struggling with the current topic, um, you can always do a Google search of the topic and look at some of their answers online and kind of go off of that. Um, I know that we like hearing your authentic opinion, but sometimes I know it's really hard for you guys. and. Uh, the easiest thing to do is just Google it and kind of use those topic, talking points to help you out while you're uh, answering these questions. But yeah, thank you so much, Imral. I think your answer was great. Um, all right, Gabriella, go ahead. Hi, I can hear you, but you're a little bit quiet. Only themselves. Um, I think I say that because, for example, in my country, a lot of people dies, uh, social leaders, um, feeders, yeah. Um, for example, uh, kids or uh, women pregnant are kidnapped for the guerrilla. And some, some, some cases dies in the, the forest. Yeah, that is really, really sad, but it's a reality. So I think that a lot of people die because they don't have food. And uh, for example, other example. Are, we're the biggest threat to ourselves. Uh, our population size, I think, has to do with it. We have so many people living on this planet and we have such a big impact on this planet, even though, you know, um, there's other animals as well here. So I think that is something really interesting, especially with the examples that you gave. Um, as sad as they are, they are really true. And like you said, they are reality. So I think that was a really good um, answer for sharing. Yeah. Uh, hello. I, I would like to share my points too. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Um, myself, Ajit. I'm from India. Uh, um, in nowadays, humans are facing various problem, various issue, um, and uh, various things. It's like a global warming and uh, um, like uh, drugs, uh, drugs and uh, smuggling and every various kind of issue we are facing still now. But um, everywhere, every country having the laws and uh, uh, they are having uh, like uh, own laws and uh, they are following, they are having own rules and the everything. But you know, the humans, uh, we are studying, we are studying school, self, selfness. That's the thing only we are uh, doing every bad activity. We want money, someone uh, smuggling the, uh, some. Yeah. Thank um, you. I, I think the next person that had their hand raised was uh, all water that we even have. And it's hard because we're already losing a lot of water. And um, <clears throat> there's a growing population on Earth. So we need more water as a result, but we're actually you know, damaging most of our water. So I think you make a great point that we need to collaborate and 
do things as a society together in order to stop the problem because if we don't take any action then of course things are going to get worse and we're not going to have uh, effective the the society actually um i have two uh, i have like two or two point i say we can say like the society like the general can like the global economic uh, uh they can hear me yeah hi hi hello okay Islam is one of the uh, one of the biggest threat to our society and on daily basis lacks of uh people are being cheated and and are hammed in some way then uh, millions of youngsters are misguided by various unauthorized agencies uh, across the globe then um youths are choosing wrong path yeah that's it. Yeah, um I think you made a great point that um the people put the kids on wrong paths because they don't have proper guidance. And so a lot of the problems that are caused by adults who are, you know, being violent or are not being sustainable with their choices, it's a result of them not having good guidance when they're younger or when they're children. And so if we were to help them just try and make it a little bit brief. Okay, thank you. So that's I wanted to add some point. Everyone is talking the right thing. Uh, so uh, when I was a student of disaster management, my professor said that there is a chance to uh, get involved with, uh, uh, in a world, world where is the reason of that world where will be water, fresh water. So uh, because uh, in my country, uh day by day our water level is getting down we're getting we're not going uh, getting uh, aquifer like uh, uh, at least water sources of industrialization so you would end up not being able to drink the water unless it's heavily filtered or there's a huge industrial process in itself to make the water drinkable so you know either way this these problems lead to the creation of even more there was two things that i saw that are quite and a few people were doing um i saw that we were first struggling to say the word society a little bit um it's a really weird word so i don't blame you guys at all um but it's just it's pronounced society um yeah so that was one thing that i noticed a few people were kind of struggling with which is totally understandable um and the second thing i saw is that um sometimes we're misusing um the word do um so i think uh I think we're adding do um before some of the verbs when we don't necessarily need to. So I would just be a little bit more careful about um knowing when to use do and trying to stay away from it um when you're talking in uh past tense or trying to describe um a situation in some cases. Yeah, those are some of those. Um and then as far as the general one that we always talk about is just the plural nouns um making sure that you're differentiating between how to make a noun plural and um because there's different ways there's obviously s and es and when you're speaking it's a little bit easier of course but um writing it's a little bit different so you want to make sure that you differentiate between the different types of ways to make words plural and then um keeping your pronouns consistent within the sentence and also making sure that you're cautious with the way and the number of times you say the word the or it or something like that we don't need to be using the before every single word because that often happens um but that's obviously okay i think you guys have been making good progress so i'm not too upset with any of the grammar issues today so we have less than a minute and um i hope you guys enjoyed class today you guys were really great so i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day thank you so much for joining Thank you, Helen. Thank you, guys. Bye. See you.